Hello and welcome to My Consultant, where you find the latest in Canadian immigration news. In this week's episode, we're discussing the latest express entry draw. Next, changes to the pre-removal risk assessment for individuals from Chad. Followed by the IRCC survey on Canada's immigration future. Stay with us as I share the new Canada-USA deal to halt illegal migrant crossing and Tina will elaborate on the new economic pathway. This week's episode of My Consultant is brought to you by Scotiabank. Canada held its largest all-program express entry draw for the third time in last two weeks. On March 29, 2023, Canada conducted its ninth express entry draw of this year. This time, IRCC issued 7,000 invitations to apply to candidates with a minimum comprehensive ranking system, that is CRS, score of 481. Canada has conducted the three largest all-program express entry draws in a row within the last two weeks, with each draw inviting 7,000 candidates, which means that 21,000 candidates have been invited recently. The CRS score has also dropped significantly in each of these draws. Individuals from Chad who received a negative final decision from either the Immigration and Refugee Board of Canada or the federal court, or had received a final PRRA decision from the IRCC between March 30th, 2022 to March 29th, 2023, may now be eligible to apply for a pre-removal risk assessment. The Canada Border Services Agency is now advising eligible individuals from Chad that they can now apply for a PRRA if they are currently subject to an enforceable removal order. If someone's refugee claim or previous application for a PRRA, pre-removal risk assessment, has been rejected, abandoned, or withdrawn, or if their application for leave and judicial review has been dismissed by the federal court, they are not eligible to apply for a PRRA for at least 12 months. However, through the new change, individuals from Chad are now exempt from the 12 month probation on applying for a PRRA, depending on when they received a decision on their refugee claim. So why the change? Due to the worsening conditions in Chad, individuals are likely to be at risk if they return, warranting an additional assessment. Please note, individuals from Chad who received a final negative decision after March 29th, 2023, are not eligible to apply for a PRRA for at least 12 months. This is because any recent changes in a country's conditions would have been considered when the refugee claim was decided or during the PRRA process. The eligibility to apply for PRRA does not guarantee its outcome. IRCC officers will continue to evaluate each case individually, depending on the up-to-date information the applicant provides. In determining which countries to exempt, the IRCC considers any recent event in a country that could put all or some of its individuals in a risk situation. Similar to those defined in the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act in Section 96, Definition of a Convention Refugee, and Section 97, Definition of a Person in Need of Protection. The Government of Canada wants you to share your thoughts and provide advice on the future of Canadian immigration through its initiative called An Immigration System for Canada's Future. This initiative includes an online survey 
through which the government wants Canadians and other stakeholders to share their ideas about how Canada can build a stronger and more adaptive immigration system. IRCC has made this online survey available to the public from March 27th to April 27, 2023. This online survey will take approximately 15 minutes to complete and will have no impact on any immigration application. If you are interested in completing this online survey, then please visit canada.ca. The new border deal between Canada and the U.S. to stop the flow of asylum seekers entering at unofficial border crossings has now taken effect. Large numbers of unsanctioned crossings have been recorded through the Rex Ham Road at the U.S.-Canadian border. Now, migrants caught crossing anywhere on the roughly 5-kilometer or 3-mile border can now be sent back. The deal is part of efforts to limit the influx of migrants at the Rexham Road, an unofficial crossing between New York State and the province of Quebec. The announcement came as U.S. President Joe Biden met with the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in Canada's capital of Ottawa to discuss a series of economic, trade and immigration issues. A record number of migrants, estimate roughly 40,000, crossed into Canada last year, the vast majority of them through Rexham Road. The new agreement between the two country leaders closes that loophole that allowed migrants to claim asylum at unofficial ports of entry. In the original 2004 agreement, called the Safe Third Country Act, it required migrants to make an asylum claim in the first safe country they reach whether that is Canada or the U.S. It allowed either nation to turn migrants away at official points of entry, but not at unofficial crossing points like Rexham Road. The deal has been met with some concerns, wherein the agreement may not deter people from crossing, but it just might increase human smuggling. The New Deal extends the agreement along the entire border, including internal waterways. As part of the deal, Canada will also create a new refugee program for 15,000 migrants fleeing persecution and violence in Central and South America. The Government of Canada is launching a new pathway to help refugees and other displaced people in Canada build their career. Immigration Minister Sean Fraser has recently announced that Canada is going to launch a new immigration pathway this summer, which will help employers in Canada connect with skilled refugees and other displaced persons. This new pathway will be managed under the Economic Mobility Pathways Pilot, that is EMPP. The EMPP pilot is created to overcome labor shortages in high demand job sectors such as healthcare, teaching, hospitality, engineering, and trucking. The application process for this new pathway will be easier and completed within six months, which means that EMPP newcomers will be able to start working in Canada quickly. Through EMPP, Canada plans to welcome up to 2,000 skilled refugees and displaced people every year to fill labour shortages across the country. With the new federal pathway, employers will be able to hire refugees and other displaced people who qualify for any National Occupation Classification 2021 category. Canada is planning to welcome 465,000 new permanent residents this year. Under the Immigration Levels Plan 2023-2025, to this target is set to rise to 485,000 in 2024 and 500,000 in 2025. Last year, Canada welcomed over 437,000 immigrants. Canada's ambitious immigration targets are largely aimed at addressing the country's high number of labor shortages. 
Canada offers more than 100 different economic class immigration pathways. The leading economic class pathway is the Provincial Nominee Program, that is PNP, which enables provinces and territories to identify candidates who meet their local economic needs. The leading federal pathway is the Express Entry System. The EMPP will give Canadian employers another opportunity to address their labour market needs, while also offering candidates an opportunity to restart their careers in Canada. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us this week. If you are looking for more information about Canada immigration, then please subscribe to our My Consultant YouTube channel. You can also visit our website where you can find an authorized immigration and citizenship consultant. I am Tina Batra and I'm Tashina Thompson and we'll see you next week.